turn that pain into power. That's what the greats have done throughout history. The people who achieved the most overcame the most from the depths of adversity. They found a way to turn their pain into an unstoppable driving force. Hmm? Now, I often say we must all suffer one of two things, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. And I'm here to tell you the pain of discipline weighs ounces while the pain of regret weighs tons. You're here because you felt pain. We all have. Maybe you were knocked down by a setback, a dream that didn't work out, a relationship that ended badly, a job lost, a struggle with your health, whatever it was that pain threatened to keep you down. But I'm going to let you in on a secret. That pain can be the catalyst for your greatest achievements, the fuel for your wildest success, because triumph is born from the ashes of adversity. The phoenix rises. Think of the most successful people in any field. I guarantee every single one of them overcame immense pain and struggle to get there. Pain is unfortunately inevitable in this life, but it's what you do with that pain that determines your destiny. You can let it stop you in your tracks. You can well in self-pity. You can make excuses about why you can't rise above it. Or you can revolutionize your mindset and use that pain to propel you farther than you ever dreamed possible. As I always say, you cannot change what you leave behind, but you can change the way you look ahead. When you're in the depths of darkness, plagued by pain and setbacks, it's easy to lose perspective. All you can see is what you've lost, not what's still possible. But if you can find a way to harness that hurt, to alchemize it into an overwhelming hunger for something greater, you become unstoppable. The motivation that springs from true pain is the most powerful fuel of all. I know because I've walked that path. I've tasted the bitterness of failure and lost more times than I can count. At my lowest points, the pain was so immense, so suffocating that giving up seemed like the only option. But something inside me refused to be defeated. My life's philosophy of constant learning, constant growth wouldn't let me stay down for long. The fire deep within was relit by that pain until it became a raging inferno, driving me to work harder than ever before. And let me tell you, when you finally break through to the other side, when you finally achieve the success you fought tooth and nail to earn, that's a sweet, sweet taste that the pain makes all the sweeter. As I often say, don't set your mind on making a living, set it on making your life. This life is too short, too precious to let pain rob you of your dreams and potential. When the storms hit and they inevitably will, you cannot let that storm snuff out your fire. I've seen so many people get knocked down and just never get back up. They make excuses. They blame external forces. They curl into a ball of self-pity. And all the while, their dreams slowly slip away. Don't be one of those people. When life deals you a body blow, take that hit like a prize fighter, absorb the force of it, and come back swinging with every ounce of determination you can muster. Use that pain as your motivator. Let it drive you to outwork everyone around you. Wake up each morning with a burning hunger, an unquenchable thirst to turn that hurt into something positive. Channel it into achieving your biggest ambitions. Just to share another philosophy that has guided my life. Don't wish it were easier, wish you were better. Wishing and hoping never changed anything. It's only when you accept total responsibility. When you look yourself in the mirror and say the buck stops with me, hmm, that you can begin to harness your pain productively. It's easy to make excuses about why you can't overcome your background, your education or lack thereof, the economy, other people holding you back. But the truth is all those are just convenient lies we tell ourselves. Successful people don't make those excuses. They simply find a way to make more happen. When I look back at my journey, at every make or break moment, it was my refusal to make excuses, my stubbornness in pushing forward despite the odds that allowed me to turn negatives into positives. I never wished for an easier path. I just wished to become better, tougher, more resourceful. And that's what harnessing your pain does. 
It forces you to level up in every area of your life. Your work ethic goes into overdrive. Your discipline tightens up. Your creativity gets fired up to find clever solutions. When your back is against the wall, you'll be amazed at what you're capable of. Best of all, turning pain into power creates a positive feedback loop. Small wins build tremendous momentum. Each little step forward decreases the pain and increases your motivation to keep charging. In this way, even the most devastating setbacks can become fuel for your greatest achievements. The path will never be easy. Nothing worth achieving ever is. There will be plenty more storms to weather, more punches to roll with. But if you commit to never letting pain keep you down, to always pushing forward no matter what, you'll tap into one of the most potent motivators of human potential. I think back to times in my life where I could have let the pain win when giving up seemed so tempting. But I refused to stop fighting. I used that suffering as jet fuel to blast me out of my rut and onto higher levels. Whether it was early business struggles, health issues, family challenges, I'm grateful for every single one of those painful experiences today because each one helped forge me into a tougher, more resilient, hungrier version of myself. And you can do the same. Stop looking at your pains and setbacks as curses and start viewing them as incentives to work harder than you ever have before. As wake up calls pushing you to maximize your potential. Embrace the pain, confront it head on, let it fuel your hustle your grind, your burning desire. And I promise, if you have the courage to bear that cross, you'll get to experience the absolute euphoria of rising from the ashes and accomplishing things you never dreamed possible. As I always say, formal education will make you a living. Self-education will make you a fortune. Don't wait around for someone to save you from your circumstances. Save yourself through the relentless pursuit of self-education, self-improvement. Get obsessed with constantly growing, Taking your life to higher levels? The pain only stops hurting when you make progress. Too many people expect life to be easy and fair, but life is tough, mercilessly tough sometimes. Only those with the mental toughness to keep pushing forward, no matter what, ultimately reach the success they deserve. So when the punches inevitably start coming your way, let them awaken something primal inside you, that unstoppable will to keep fighting to turn every ounce of pain into ounces and ounces of motivational fuel. You got a choice to make. Are you going to let pain weigh you down and keep you stuck? Or are you going to boldly decide that this pain will be the spark that ignites your greatest transformation yet? That's starting today. Nothing will hold you back from total victory. If you choose the second path, you'll be amazed at how rapidly your life can turn around. How every setback becomes a setup for an even bigger comeback. The losses that used to destroy you will just piss you off and refocus you. Don't just take my word for it. Look at the most legendary icons in any field you can think of. Behind every one of their success stories is a harrowing tale of adversity and suffering that could have stopped them dead in their tracks. But they chose to let that pain sear their souls to burn away all excuses and complacency. What emerged was a tempered, unstoppable force with the hunger to devour any obstacle in their path. Whether it was battling chronic illnesses, escaping poverty, overcoming career setbacks, their ability to harness their hardships as fuel is what separated them from the pack. So embrace the nobility of struggle. Welcome it as a chance to strengthen your character, your resolve, turn your wounds into wisdom, Stop running from what hurts and start attacking it head on. That anguish can either be a dead weight dragging you into the quicksand or the catalyst for total rebirth as a more powerful, passionate version of yourself. The choice is yours, but I hope you'll join me on the path of letting no setback, no matter how devastating, stop your forward momentum. The path of hustle and grit, powered by using your pains as motivation to never quit until you reach your loftiest ambitions. It's one of the most challenging mindsets to adopt. Our instinct is to retreat to lick our wounds. 
But those who achieve the extraordinary stuff are the ones who consistently find that inner fire, that laser-focused hunger for greatness that uses their hardships as jet fuel. I'm here to tell you, it's worth it. Every ounce of sweat, every uphill battle, every time you have to pull yourself up off the canvas, it's all worth it. Because when you finally break through and reach the top of that mountain, you've been clawing towards. The view is more beautiful than you can imagine. There's no greater joy than looking back on the path you traveled and feeling immense pride at how far you've come. At the strength and perseverance you had to summon to overcome every obstacle thrown your way. Each challenge still stings a little, but you wear those battle scars with pride. So embrace the struggle ahead, my friends. Get hungry, ravenous in fact. Let that hunger for something greater than yourself consume you. And watch in awe as brick by brick, you build something extraordinary from the rubble of your past pains. I'll leave you with one final thought that I hope you'll take to heart. Success is not to be pursued, it is to be attracted by the person you become. By committing to masterfully transforming your hardships into an unstoppable hunger, you'll become someone powerful, a force of nature that fears no setback. Your perseverance and relentless pursuit of growth will attract astonishing levels of success into your life. So take that first step today. Look that pain square in the eye, feel its weight, and decide with every fiber of your being that you'll be damned if you let it win. This is the moment you declare your freedom, where you shed the shackles of past hurts by turning them into motivational rocket fuel. The path ahead won't be easy, but nothing worth achieving ever is. Struggle precedes success. It's the admission fee to join the ranks of the greats, the legends who showed the world what's possible when you tap into your primal hunger for more. You know, they say time heals all wounds, but I'm here to tell you that's only half the story. Time alone won't automatically heal your pain and make everything better. No, you've got to be proactive. You've got to take that hurt and do something powerful with it. As I always say, if you don't like how things are, change it. You're not a tree. Don't just sit there feeling sorry for yourself, letting your circumstances keep you stuck and miserable. You've got the power to change your life, but it starts by changing your mindset around pain and adversity. For too long, our society has treated pain as something to be avoided at all costs. We're told to run away from it, numb it with distractions and vices, but that's a dead end street, my friends. Numbing the pain only perpetuates the cycle. It never actually solves anything. I get it, pain hurts. It's uncomfortable, it's scary. Our instinct is to make that gut-wrenching feeling go away as quickly as possible. But what if instead of running from pain, you got dead set on conquering it? What if you treated each setback, each hardship, as a type of productive resistance training for your hunger and perseverance, like hitting the weight room for your work ethic and grit? That mental shift alone is so powerful because it means you'll start craving the very things you use to avoid. Those punches life throws your way won't keep knocking you down. You'll be able to take them on the chin and keep moving forward, progressively getting tougher with each obstacle. I know it sounds crazy. Why would anyone willing subject themselves to more pain? But think about it like building muscle. The only way to get stronger is to push your body past its comfort zone through productive struggle. No pain. No gain, as they say. Well, the same philosophy applies to achieving any type of ambitious goal or dream. If you want to break through to higher levels in any area of your life, you can't just coast along comfortably. You need a way to systematically push yourself to work through tough stumbling blocks that force you to grow. So instead of being deathly afraid of pain and setbacks, why not embrace them? Get hungry for the learning experiences they provide the gut checks that show you how much more grit you're capable of, the motivational wake-up calls they provide to reevaluate and realign your approach. Trust me, nothing lights a fire under you like a broken dream or derailed goal. It's in those dark moments of feeling like you've lost everything that your true perseverance gets forged. The other side of that pain, if you can white-knuckle your way through, is a heightened tenacity and laser-focused motivation just think about some of the challenges you've already overcome up to this point in your life. 
Maybe it was getting through a difficult childhood. Maybe it was battling against long odds to start a business or land a coveted career opportunity. We all stories of struggle and adversity we fought through. My question is this, how did you feel after finally achieving that big win? After all the blood, sweat, and tears? I'm willing to bet it felt amazing, deeply gratifying and vindicating. All those moments of wanting to quit or feeling sorry for yourself made the ultimate breakthrough that much sweeter? That feeling you're chasing. That's the thrill and rush of turning pain into power, of letting each setback strengthen your hunger and resilience. The path won't be easy, but that ecstatic emotional reward will be well worth the fight to get there. As I love to say, profits are better than wages. What I mean is don't settle for a small, steady paycheck when you have the potential to earn big through your creativity, ambition, and grit. Living within the confines of comfort and security may seem safe, but is that really living at all? There's a big wild world out there full of opportunities for the daring and hungry to reach levels of abundance they could scarcely dream of. But you'll never discover your true upper limits unless you're willing to risk leaving the safety net behind through committed action. The greatest moments of growth in our lives often come in the form of loss or setbacks that initially devastate us. Maybe it was getting fired from a job you poured your heart into. Maybe it was going through a painful divorce or breakup. Maybe it was facing a terrifying health scare. In those dark moments, it can feel like the entire world is crashing down around you. Your dreams seem shattered beyond repair. The pain and disappointment is so raw, so intense, that you start questioning everything in your life. But I'm here to tell you, those are actually the most powerful and pivotal junctures you'll ever experience. Those devastating lows have the potential to awaken an untapped hunger and drive within you that can propel you to heights you never imagined. As I always say, learn to work harder on yourself than you do on your job. Because at the end of the day, your mindset, your unshakable perseverance in the face of adversity, that's what will determine whether you succeed or fail. It would be easy to just wallow in self-pity after a major life setback. Maybe you did that for a little while, and I don't blame you at all. We all need to feel and process that initial blast of hurt and disappointment. But then at some point, something deep inside, you will demand that you pick yourself up off the canvas and start fighting again. That primal hunger for a better life to turn your circumstances around through sheer grit and hard work will reawaken. And when that energy surge hits you, you need to grab it with both hands and not let go. Fan those first few flames until they become a raging, unstoppable blaze of motivation, of pure, unfiltered perseverance that uses that initial pain as fuel for massive life changes. I've witnessed this process up close through my own trials and those of countless friends and mentees. The moments after life deals you its harshest body blows are your make or break turning points. You can choose to get bitter, surrender to the victim minds, or you can get better. When you finally decide, no matter what, you'll claw and fight your way through any darkness. That's when you tap into one of the most potent and primal sources of motivation that exists. A driving energy born of your refusal to stay down for the count. 